Hello boys and girls. Today we are working on lesson 88 in our Saxo math book. And the first thing we need to do is to draw a 9 centimeter, 3 millimeter line segment. So I'm going to go to the meter side or metric side of the ruler and I am going to draw a line from that 0 all the way to 9. And that would be 9 centimeters or 90 millimeters. Then I'm going to go three more tick marks, for lack of a better word, to make it 93 millimeters. The next one asks to draw a one and a half inch line segment. So you start at zero and you draw a line that is one and a half. Pass the one halfway between the one and the two. Now a line segment has two endpoints and that's important to know. Use the chart to answer the question. Curtis wants to buy two markers and four erasers. So I'm going to go ahead and underline two markers and four erasers. This word and usually means to add or multiply. How much money will he need? Two markers, let's look. I can buy single packs for 30 cents, or I can buy two pack for 50 cents. So I'm gonna go ahead and say 50 cents. And four erasers. So if I look right here, there's a package of four and it's 25 cents. And I will be adding 50 plus 25 is 75 cents. That's how much money they will need. What temperature is shown on thermometer A? So if I look at thermometer A, it is between 10 degrees Celsius and 20 degrees Celsius. So this halfway mark would be five. So that would be 15 degrees Celsius. And there's two more tick marks above that. So 15 plus two would be 17 degrees Celsius. Shade the thermometer B to show 29 degrees Celsius. Well, I know 29 is one away from 30, so I'm just gonna go one away from 30, and I just shade it down. And you notice I don't color it in solidly. I like to be able to see what I've shaded. What are the smudge digits? So as I look at this, 60 plus what equals 80? Well, I would originally say 20, right? 60 plus 20 equals 80. However, 3 plus 8 equals 11. So I already have a 10 there. So instead of a 2, it's going to be a 1. 1 10, because there's a 10 in that 11. 490 plus 200 something equals 693. Zero plus three equals three. 500 and something minus 210. So five take away two is three. What take away 10 is seven? Eight tens take away one ten is seven tens. Carol will be the fifth child to see the doctor. So I'm going to draw that picture. And I'm going to say this is my doctor. Here's my doctor. One, two, three, four, five. So this is going to be Carol. How many children are before her? Well, one, two, three, four. Four children. If each child's visit takes 10 minutes, this word each tells me I'm going to probably multiply in 10 minutes. Each of them takes 10 minutes. How long will Carol have to wait? 10, 20, 30, 40. She'll have to wait 40 minutes or 10 times 4 equals 40. 
what is the length of the rectangle and what is the width of the rectangle? My length would be approximately two. It's not quite two, but it's approximately two centimeters. So I'm gonna say two centimeters. And the width is approximately seven. Not exactly. So what would the perimeter be? Two and seven. Two and seven. The perimeter, you just add up all the sides. Well, I know two plus seven is nine. So two plus seven is nine. Nine plus nine would be 18. That would be my perimeter. Divide the rectangle in problem six into fourths. I've made fourths. Shade three parts. One, two, three. What fractional part is shaded? Well, three out of a total of four. What fractional part is not shaded? One out of four. One fourth. And that concludes today's lesson.